This is California Public Service Recognition Week, and it's an honor for me to say thank you to all of our public servants here at the Department of Food and Agriculture and recognize the extraordinary work that you do on an annual basis, but especially reflecting on what we've been through in the pandemic, where so much of that work was happening under unusual circumstances, in the field with all that PPE, when it was at home from that home office, whether it's the living room or the dining room table, um, and sometimes at the office and increasingly more so at the office. It was your commitment, your professionalism, your dedication that really helped keep our food supply chain flowing. You provided the services to make sure the essential work of our farmers, our ranchers, our farm workers, those grocery store workers, we're doing and flowing the way their consumers expected. When I think about the professionalism of what you do, I think about the people who are working in all of our labs. We have great scientists, world-class science, world-class equipment, doing diagnostics, doing the testing, really making sure that our systems are working the way they're intended to do and that we get those early detections as quickly as possible to protect our state from exotic animal diseases and invasive species. When I think about inspection services, whether it's the implementation of the Food Safety Modernization Act to prevent foodborne illnesses or getting those grants out for farm to school, and our fertilizer program, where we've got a new initiative for irrigation and nutrient management, and we also have worked around the clock, and thank you to the employees in our feed program to make sure that when there were rail disruptions, we were still getting livestock food and feed into this state. I think about keeping those farmers markets open and making sure the integrity of organic program is exactly what Californians expect. Our fairs, who could ever say thank you enough to our fairs and the DAAs who have been there through every type of disaster and still putting on great community events, which in these times mean more than ever. All of our work, regardless of the division, whether it's out there in our stars and at our gas pumps, making sure consumers are getting what they pay for through our division of measurement standards, or doing the work that stands behind us so we can do our work to information technology, that's become even more important, and to administration services and fiscal services. Thank you, all of you. We're building climate resiliency. We're providing that local resilient food supply through the ways that we're doing things. And most importantly, we've renewed our efforts for how we do our work and how we work with one another through diversity, inclusion, and equity working together on a racial equity action plan, making sure that we have those opportunities for personal and professional growth as we work together to deliver our services for every Californian, every farmer, regardless of where they farm or how much they farm, regardless of what their language is. This is something to be proud of, and I, more than anyone, am very proud of you. It is an honor for me to walk this journey on a daily basis of making sure our food supply system is open and accessible. I will never stop singing your praises to the state, to the country, and around the world. Thank you, Department of Food and Agriculture employees. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart.